I blued this and uh, I just want to even out the blue with a little bit of oil. Then run the wool felt belt with compound over the edge to polish that back out. I think it'll be a nice look. This uh, this axe is ever actually by um, uh, Hilco and it's called their classic line. And I thought about keeping it, but I also I think I'm going to give it to my uh, my wife's father. He's a carpenter and a bit of a woodsman himself, and I think this would be a nice Christmas gift. And he definitely doesn't know he's getting it, so he actually thinks he's getting another axe. Um, but this one's a lot nicer.
giving this a quick coat until I get back to my place. Get a real nice oil treatment on it. Probably the whitest wood of any axe handle I've ever had. Anybody to notice from the video already? This is an old True Temper Jersey pattern head, and it's one with the uh, beveled bevels in it. Won this one off eBay uh, for a steal, mind you. That's where I get almost all of my heads, except what I do in trading. It's all that time with the handle. I just got some dirt on it. Oh well, it's gonna get dirty anyway. Finally finished, or I consider this in the finished category for me. Um, I've gone through two two sanding tours with it to get the handle down. Started off as a full full-size racing axe handle. It's the only one I could get with the eye was big enough to work with to get into that. Otherwise, the rest of them were just a little too small and 
you know, I wanted a good tight fit for this axe, so. Don't come out too bad. The other one you see me working on, I believe I said it early in the video, um, it's an axe I got from Germany. It's very nice. Um, I just thought it seemed better suited uh, for the one I wanted to give my father-in-law one anyway, so it just turned out to be that one. I finished that and gave it to him this afternoon. The video, the video of working on it was from this morning. So I'm back home now just getting oil onto this one. I was at the Adventure Store and Workshop this morning because that's where my tools are now for the, for the fall and winter. It gets a little too chilly to work outside like this and I don't want to destroy my tools either. So... Thin layer on the head. Figured the Axis Back project needed a little update, so I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Those of you that uh, appreciate the uh, the axe and stuff like that, will appreciate a video of seeing one worked on and oiled. For those that don't, well, I guess we'll just leave nasty comments on how boring it was. Um, and that's what the block button's for, so no big deal. Thanks a lot, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Later. Oh, by the way, I don't know what happened, but... Uh, Nobody's making any videos anymore. The project didn't stop. Let's keep it going. I figured you guys might be interested in that box that you saw in the part of the video. It's actually an old two box of my grandfather's. It uh, started off as gray and uh, pretty beat up and warped, so I did some straightening on the metal and uh, prepped it and painted it. Uh, went with green, uh, obviously, because it's everything I have. Brown drawers, uh, rustic copper knobs on it, and basically just the uh, just thing. I put all the stuff I, I use my axe for. Um, got the mallet in the top. I actually leather lined the drawers on it. Now I got some large stones for any root profile that I do. And um, this one, uh, as you saw, got a whole uh, jug of oil in there. Got some rags to keep one of my grandfather's uh, 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 measuring sticks in here. I also have a thing full of wedges and steel wedges to keep those nice and dry in there. At the bottom has just got, uh, got a coping saw and some files. A couple other tools I just haven't thrown in here yet, but that was pretty neat. And uh, figured I'll call it my uh, my my axe box. I hope you like it. Thanks, guys.